can you talk a little bit about the parallels between your character in Monster and what you see in the news today? So Monster is based on the Walter Dean Myers novel about a 17-year-old honor student who's from Harlem and he's on trial for murder. What Steve has to go through in the film is kind of realize who he actually is and how people actually see him and I think it's kind of an awakening. He thinks he's outside of the system. The psychology of everything that was said, you know, being called a monster, being people telling you who you are as a person, being kind of made into a villain and still not really being sure as a young person, what does that mean? Why do people see me this way despite everything that I've done? So you went straight from Monsters because that wasn't enough to Monsters and Men, right? <laughs> yes. And Monsters and Men, the, the premise of that film is that you see um, another black man being killed at the hands of police and what you're dealing with and what others are dealing with in the aftermath of that. It's in three parts. And the first part is um, the Manny Kenner, Anthony Ramos, who sees the killing. I, just, I play a baseball star who's in the community who basically sees the video, yeah, and he, he's, he's dealing with that, that, yeah. yeah. For that role, um, you got into method acting a little bit. You learned how to play baseball, you learned how to swim, and you gained 30 pounds. I, you know, he's an athlete. I had to get into that mindset and, and really commit to that. And you know, I couldn't just be good at baseball. Baseball players look bigger than me. I look like a little scrawny little thing, you know? And so it, it, it was important to me to understand the psychology and the focus that it, it takes. Let's talk a little bit about your family because both of your parents are creative. You grew up in a creative household as opposed to a traditional nine to five sort right, of job. Right, right. Can you talk about how that helped motivate you and, and perhaps the freedom that it gave you to become an actor? Yeah, I mean, my dad was very um, strict on being good at your craft. He comes from, he's, he's a classically trained musician and you know, they're very, very much about discipline and focus and time management. So you know, I would go to school from 3, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. and then I would go to a creative arts school from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. and then I would go home and practice for three hours. And my dad still thinks I should just keep be, be playing music. <laughs> I talked to him this morning, he was like, pick up your trumpet. Yeah. He was like, yeah, John Legend played last night at the after party for Monster, it was amazing. But he was like, see, John's playing piano, you know? He's producing and he's acting still, you know? You, you could be doing it all. <laughs> it helped me, I guess, get the focus that I have now and, and really, appreciate the opportunities that I have and understand that you know it takes a lot of hard work so you should enjoy it you know these films in a lot of ways have become my form of activism to to, to continue to do stories that are really compelling and really complicated and and and, and shine a light on some of these issues in our country I think it's, it, if you have a platform and people are willing to listen why not